sure there was a crowd out here. Uh, listen, this is a fabulous night for Catherine Clark, who you're going to hear from in a minute. It's a fabulous night for Melrose. It's a fabulous night for Massachusetts. I think it's a fabulous night for the whole country because... go to Washington and get things done, and that is Catherine Clark. So let me just say this. There were terrific candidates in this race, and many of you knew, I did know, and like all of the candidates in this race, uh, it was a hard-fought primary. They all worked hard, and let's give a round of applause to everybody in this race. and particularly here in the 5th, should be proud of the people who will throw their hat in the ring to, to work to represent you because good politics makes for good government. And that's what we have in Massachusetts. And that's why uh, we are lucky tonight and we will be lucky on December 10th because we work hard to send good people to Washington. You know, Mayor Dolan and I were there at the kickoff. Uh, it seems like uh, it was yesterday, although I'm sure not to Catherine. Um, for a short race, it was a long one. Uh, and I know all of you worked hard uh, to make sure that we got the vote out today, that Catherine was able to get her message out, which she did. And I said at the beginning of this race that Catherine has the right bones for Washington. She has a backbone, she has a funny bone, and she has a wishbone. backbone that we want in people who will go to Washington and shake it up a little bit to get some results. Yep. She has a funny bone. If you know her, she has a great sense of humor, which is required, by the way, to be a successful <laughs> elected uh, a representative. Yeah. Uh, she's shown that in her jobs in Massachusetts, everything she's done. And I've known Catherine uh, as a colleague, as a friend in the Attorney General's office, in the State House. And she's going to be fabulous in Congress. And particularly because she has the wishbone, she wants a better future for her kids, for your kids, for all of our kids, for our seniors, and she will get it done. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Martha and Rob, for uh, being here for the kickoff, being here tonight. Um, I cannot tell you how much I appreciate your friendship and your support. But tonight's victory is not my victory. It is your victory. You, you are the ones that made this happen, and I cannot tell you how grateful I am for all your help, all your friendship, and all your support. But before I begin, I want to thank each and every one of the other Democrats in this race. Every one of them has dedicated themselves to public service and to the people of Massachusetts. We are a better Commonwealth because of their service, and I applaud them for putting the issues that are so important at the forefront of this race and running strong, positive campaigns. Family, I cannot thank you enough for your love, your support, your encouragement, your inspiration. This has been quite a journey. And I could not have been able to do it without you. And a special shout out to my dad who's in Spalding tonight. This one's for you. recognize another very special family that's here today. Uh, today is the sixth anniversary of the tragic bombings at the Boston Marathon, 
and I am so pleased to have the Norton family and Jackie Webb join us here to celebrate tonight. Your strength inspires every single one of us. Thank you. <laughs> So unbelievably proud of the campaign that we ran because I believe our cause is worth fighting for. A cause that says we're a better country when we provide people with health care instead of shutting down the government to take it away. says your daughters should be paid the same as my sons when they do the same work. A cause that says we will not let the NRA win. to continue to end gun violence until there are no more mothers mourning the loss of a child and there are no more communities torn apart at the seams by gun violence. A cause that says protecting Social Security and Medicare is about more than protecting our seniors. It's about keeping a promise. Yes. A promise that says we will not put the cost of government mistakes on the backs of those who need our help the very most. says Republican extremists need to stop attacking women's rights and start working to solve the issues that affect our families. We won tonight not just on the strength of our message, but on the passion of our messengers. <laughs> and I thank each and every one of you who put up a lawn sign, called a friend, or maybe a hundred or two, <laughs> who contributed so much by knocking on doors, by calling your neighbors and getting out the vote today. And I want to take a moment just to thank my amazing campaign staff and my finance team. And especially the incredible leadership of a remarkable friend, my campaign manager, Brooke Scannell. But all of you, you are the backbone of this campaign, and I need your help fighting so that come December 11th, we can take the issues that we discuss around our kitchen tables and put them on the table in Congress. And as I've traveled around, 
as I've traveled around this district, people kept asking me, with all the craziness in Washington, why do you want to go to Congress? And with the government shutdown, I got asked that question even more. But you know what? As dysfunctional as DC is, I always believe there is always, always a better way forward. And I believe that every child can get a great education. Yeah. That, that everyone, everyone who works a full-time job can afford to take care of their family. That every American, that every American should have access to health care. And that every senior should retire with dignity and security. And that everyone, everyone, should have a fair shot at the American dream. And with your help, on December 10th, I'm going to go to Congress and be your voice. <laughs> I'm going to put your family's concerns back on the table in Congress. And together, together, we are going to continue on this amazing journey. And together, we will win this race. Thank you so much.